And now we're going to head off to Hokitika and Haas. So the truck just flashed his lights. I presume there's a cop up here somewhere. Not that I ever speed, but it's nice to know. So you can smile at the camera as you go past. Usually a sign here, uh, here we go, the Arahura River, the Arahura. We did eventually um, see the speed camera at the side of the road in a nondescript van. Uh, we had several cars flashing their lights at us before we got there, so we were well prepared for it. Thank you very much people, not that we speed, no, not at all. Oh, that didn't take long, Hokitika already. Well, the outskirts there are on. Oh, well, Hokitika, time for fuel, and then continue south after that. And it's not raining. Awesome. Crossing, I don't know, I'm guessing Hokitika River, I don't know what it is. Mountains under the clouds up there. Heading south. town of Ross on the west coast of the South Island. An old gold mining settlement in the early days. Pretty little backdrop they've got here. Taha River. One thing Westland doesn't lack is rivers coming out of the mountains. On a fine day you can look up these valleys of the foothills and see the Southern Alps, but not today. You can only see the foothills. <laughs> That's where we've been, where we've come from, up there where the sky is light, and that's where we're going. Down there where it's not so light. Well, it's stocking up for winter with the firewood. Gets bitterly cold down here in the winter. There's a little town called Hurry Hurry, as in Harry Harry, not Hurry Hurry. I don't think anybody would be in too much of a hurry down here, would they? Be a very relaxing lifestyle. Oh, it's still a little bit light over there. It's um, promising, maybe. The uh, Latte. Yeah. Well, we've stopped at the side of the road. Have a regroup. Our new friend on the Suzuki is long gone. He's going to meet us at Franz Josef Glacier Village. We we're going to have a late lunch. And uh, it's not too wet. We're doing okay. Of course, the battery died coming down over here through some beautiful twisties. Lovely, lovely, but that's how it works, eh? So we finally found the rain. <laughs> I've got the screen right up. Probably buggering up the view for the camera, but better that than I stay a little bit dry. I do believe we're approaching the little tourist mecca of Franz Josef. And up one of the valleys from here is the Franz Josef Glacier. So I saw it 30 years ago and it was receding then, so it's probably much further back up the valley now. That's if you believe in climate change. <laughs> and yet another one lane bridge. Oh, we can fit, hey, we can fit. Badger pulling in up there. Oh, good, there must be somewhere to have some beat here. Can I see him going here? Oh, 
Oh, that's right, I was going to get off first, eh? Easy peasy like that. Japanese. So it's better, eh? Yeah, way better. <laughs> Here we are, Franz Joseph, little town. Gonna have some lunch. We're not going up to the glacier, I hope. The boys were talking about doing that, but weather being what it is, and what's the point? So, lunchtime. Choice. Well, away we go again. Yet another one lane bridge. Which is a rough one. Probably gets replaced every year. And uh, south we go now to Haast. Time back there is a winding road next 16 kilometres. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. I got a badger right up my bum. <laughs> I can hear him. Oh, stunning, stunning scenery. About the cloud and the rain, but never mind. job when this uh, when it happens they get them cleaned up pretty quick going down hallway eh? and a cattle stop another steel grate hate the shiny bits if it's shiny it's slippery well the rain has definitely found us <laughs> for a minute then I thought it was hail but it's much too warm for hail 19 degrees just big big raindrops lovely bridges down here now this is Bruce Bay imagine in a nice fine day it's beautiful but this road got absolutely hammered a couple of weeks ago so they've done well to get it open but it still needs quite a bit of repair from the look of it Is this where we want to stop? For a quick day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you want to <laughs> I can see you flipping me over one of these times. Oh, look. It's a bit of my bike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> no service, don't matter. I tried to send a photo 
to the family so they know I'm still alive and everything wherever we stop. Yep. So I took that photo and I've got you doing that to my family. <laughs> Fortunately, there's no service here. <laughs> How you doing, Aaron? Oh, so bum. Oh, it's just a bump. Yeah, yeah. No, no moaning about that. Not allowed to. Ah. Oh. It doesn't count. I was trying to push myself up and stand. You know, I can feel you rubbing against my yeah, back. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 Do you want a coffee here? Or? Um, I'll go with the flow. I'm quite happy to carry on or have oh, a coffee. Right. We just had a little stop at a place called Bruce Bay. Or did I already say that? Somebody had a coffee and we tagged the rock. And we carry on in the wet. And I'm wondering whether my audio is working because last time I tried to do this in the rain, the audio didn't work. But hopefully there's a wonder the insulation tape might get something from it. Either that or I'll fry my camera all together. Uh, we think we've got 70 odd kilometres to go to get to Haas and our accommodation for the night. And we would have ended up doing with our side trip up to Arthur's Pass probably 400, 450 kilometres today, something like that. And even though it's been a bit wet, it's still been a great ride so far. Touchwood, another one of these lovely one lane bridges over the I don't know what river and on we go into the mist of time oh, here we go past is 67 kilometers away yep Monica is 213 from here we'll be going through Monica tomorrow hopefully in some better weather who knows